Today I'll show you how to get a grasp on your RODI unit's effectiveness at filtering TDS out of your water. Hi guys, I'm Randy. In this episode of BRS TV How To, I show you how to install a TDS meter on your RODI unit so you can finally tell how well your system is performing and if the membrane or DI resin needs to be replaced. Since the majority of our hobby revolves around keeping pristine water conditions, it's pretty important to know what goes into our tanks. With a total dissolved solids or TDS meter installed on our RODI units, we can get an instant reading of TDS from multiple sensors so we can track the water quality throughout the entire filtering process. And without one, we're sort of blindly hoping that our water is being properly filtered. These digital TDS meters from HM Digital come with push connect fittings, Velcro backing attachments, an auto off feature, and a long lasting battery. What I also like about these TDS meter kits that we use here at BRS is they're available in options of one, two, or three sensors, and all the parts you need are included in the bag, and they literally take seconds to install. Let me show you how. All we need for tools today is a pair of tube cutters or a sharp razor blade to make clean 90 degree cuts on the RODI tubing where we'll install the sensor fittings. First, I'll want to install the sensors themselves into the included Push Connect T fittings. Here it's very important that the conductivity probes on the sensor tip are oriented so that the water can pass over them equally. The easy way for me to remember is to look through the fitting and check that the two probes are side by side. If you only see one, you can simply spin the sensor until two are visible. Since the sediment filters and carbon blocks don't remove TDS, the first place I would install a sensor is right after the RO membrane on the blue product water line. This will give you an indication of how well your membrane is filtering the TDS from your tap water before it gets to the DI stages. All I have to do is cut the line and install the sensor with the push connect fittings. The second sensor I'll install the same way as the first, but I'll add it to the output of the DI stage so I can verify that it's removing any remaining TDS from the product water. Although some reefers rely on DI resin to change color, to know when it's exhausted, adding a TDS meter here will help you be certain that no TDS is getting through when you're waiting for that last bit of resin to change color, as well as know if there's channeling happening inside your cartridge that will let the TDS bypass the resin. Finally, if you have additional sensors to install, you could put one on the line between your tap water and filter unit. The only thing here is that the TDS concentration in your tap water may not change significantly, so it may be more beneficial to install a sensor after each DI resin cartridge, which will allow you to monitor TDS removal throughout each stage. Well guys, that wraps up this installation. If you have more questions, please don't keep them to yourselves because that's what this team of reefers lives for. Give us a quick call or email, and if you need your answer in the next 60 seconds, hit us up with a chat. See you in the next episode of BRS TV.